Hi guys, it's Hunter the Hunter Mackinen here, and uh, I recently on my blog um, I just re I, I actually did something kind of crazy. I reviewed all 15 uh, albums, uh, studio albums by Iron Maiden, who are my favorite band. And uh, while I was doing those reviews, I of course had to fa find pictures of all the Iron Maiden covers. The, uh, st the album covers, and I decided that this is an idea that I've been doing, that I've been thinking about doing for a while. All the 15 studio album covers by Iron Maiden, and I'm going to just give my opinion on each and every single one of them. So Iron Maiden, uh, the first studio album, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you've seen my top, if you've seen my top 10 Iron Maiden albums list on YouTube, uh, you should know that this is one of my favorite albums. Um, my second favorite. This is my second favorite after Somewhere in Time is my absolute favorite. And the the cover art, to be honest, <laughs> not that, not that great, not that hot. I mean, I mean, you can tell that this is a first cover art, and it's, I, I, I it's, it's to be honest, I don't like. I didn't, I just never cared for this impression that Eddie has. This sort of a sort of going like. Rrr. The CD reissue, which is probably the only way uh, you can get that uh, uh, album. Uh, on the CD reissue, they kind of touched it up a little bit. They made him look more threatening, and they took out those white uh, halos that are in his eyes, and I think they're red in the in the um, newer version. But uh, yeah, this this one is not that great. It's not one of my favorite covers, but it's a good al album. All right, Killers. I think much better. This is really what I when I think of Eddie. This is really what I think of. It's like, like you said on the first cover. This is what I wish the cover of the first album would look like. Like Eddie in it. Eddie's hair was all kind of spiky, but now he's got like the full big heavy metal hair, and he's got the evil grin. Like that's that's just awesome. And you know, it, it looks this really like looks like Eddie. But you notice the little details. You'll notice that he has the axe in his hand there. And then when you cl look at closely. You can see, like, grabbing onto his t-shirt are the hands of his victim. Like, uh, it's just like, Eddie's just, um, <laughs> murdered somebody. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, this is a really cool cover art and, uh, really cool album cover. This is, this is definitely better than the first one. Next we have the Number of the Beast album cover. Um, good album. Not my favorite album cover, to be honest. I, 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 this is what I like to call an Iron Maiden clusterfuck because there's just way too much stuff going on. I mean, it's one of those covers that when you look at it very quickly, like from the corner of your eye, um, it looks pretty good. But then when you stop to look at it, kind of like the details, and it, it starts to look really, really stupid. I mean, okay, we all know that that's like Eddie holding. The devil by by the strings, and if you look at closely, there's the devil holding Eddie by the strings. But then you have the sort of Derek Riggs Iron Maiden um, purgatory in the background. You got the wings made of lightning. Like the first time, first few times that I had this album, I did not even notice that the devil has wings made of lightning. I <laughs> think that just looks really stupid. And uh, I don't even like Eddie's hair in this one. It's like all flat and stuff, but. His expression is pretty good. Eddie looks good. I mean, you took all this other stuff away, it would actually be a very good um, cover, but... Alright, Peace of Mind. This one is, this one I like. This is one of my favorite favorite uh, Maiden covers. It's the lobotomized Eddie in a padded room with chains around his neck. Like, this is the most super brutal Maiden cover that has been done up to this point. Like, Killers! Is pretty brutal, like the, the implication that Eddie is an axe murderer. But here, like uh, Eddie has been basically like he, he's been lobotomized. You see the little bits of blood tripping from there, and you know this is this is a really kick-ass album cover. Um, they tried to do the same thing here as they did with the original, is and you have it in the CD sleeve as well. Uh, originally, it was on the LP vinyl I mean, backside. The design actually continues on the back. But I don't. I don't think they did it as good of a job with it on um, this album. Usually, I don't like the snarling, but I think it's because it, now it's a bit more to the side, and it's you know he, he's enraged. That's what, in my view, sells it. Power Slave, Power Slave. Yes, I have that T-shirt. You've seen it. Uh, 
Yeah, this is just a fantastic. This is this is what a heavy metal album cover should look like. It's in a word, it's majestic. That's the word I'm looking for. And you know, it's great. It's it it sets the mood because Power Slave, Somewhere in Time, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. I see I see those as being the sort of al concept album trilogy of Iron Maiden. That's actually how I reviewed them on the blog too. And you can see, you just take the covers of those three albums, put them side to side, and you see like, oh man, this is like a, really like a, a, a continuation of some awesome stuff. And you know, you have the little people there. I mean, the level of detail on this one is awesome. And, and um, this is where it works be best when there's a lot of detail, that the that there's a big thing you can see, which is Eddie and the pyramid and all this. And then you have the little details there at the bottom. Somewhere in Time, my favorite Iron Maiden album. Also, one, what, probably one of my favorite covers too. Like this looks like the cover of a comic book to me. You know, you have Eddie, Cyborg Eddie, standing there with the gun. He shot another cyborg, and uh, yeah, and this, this one just looks absolutely neat. There's a, there's all kinds of little uh, homages to previous Iron Maiden covers if you look right there, and. That flighty, that flying thing, and I don't know what the heck that is. That flying ship it looks like a submarine that's flying around. One of the funniest things that I noticed, though, like, at one point I tried drawing Cyborg Eddie, and when I, once I started drawing his crotch areas, when I noticed that he has a radioactive symbol in his crotch. <laughs> like, okay, seventh son of a seventh son. I'm, I'm always a little. I'm always split on this. I don't know if I lo love or hate this cover because it's got it's kind of like they've kind of rolled all the eddies into one, but they've dissected him and they have him floating up in the air and his head is on fire and he's got <laughs> he's got a uterus with a baby in it and <laughs> oh my god, this is like uh, and an apple, an apple inside. You know, this is just. This is just fucking madness. Can I play with madness? It's actually very neat. I like the whole icy and the water and things like this. Is Maiden just clearly wanted this to be the weird cover. This is clearly what they intended it to be. And I'm not sure what Eddie's impression, the expression there, is supposed to imply. Like he's a bit discontent. <laughs> that's that's the impression I get. All right, no prayer for the dying. This is the original version. If you get the CD re-release version, which unless you owned a time machine and went back to 1990, I don't know how else you would get it. But <laughs> if you get 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 the CD reissue, um, it doesn't have the Undertaker there, uh, and also the little slab on the tomb on the uh, tomb lid. It has an inscription that's taken from um, H.P. Lovecraft, I think. Yeah, th this one is... it's okay, it's not a bad cover. I, I don't personally... I don't have a preference as far as whether I like the original or the new one better. And they went sort of back to the original Eddie style from like the first cover, like his hair is a bit spiky and all, but it's not bad. The snarling face expression, I'm not a fan of that, but it's not bad. Uh, the album itself is not really my favorite. Alright, Fear of the Dark. This was the first album cover that wasn't made by Derek Riggs, the guy who made Eddie, so No Prayer for the Dying was the last cover he did. And this is done by another guy whose name I can't remember, but he's done a lot of Eddie stuff, and I think this is one of the best Iron Maiden covers, honestly. A tree Eddie monster. Like, that's just... <laughs> like, uh, even with the little, little um, <laughs> cheesy details, like the branches from it coming out of his chin like make ma making him look like he has a little beard or something but I, I honestly think this looks really awesome like this this is another one it looks like a the cover of a comic book like a horror comic book basically whoa <laughs> oh. the X Factor yeah I think this is by far the most gruesome of the Iron Maiden covers and um, the way they did this okay they this is this is an actual physical puppet that they did of Eddie, and they photographed it and they, they did little CG add-ons like the little bits of blo like blood dripping from his scalp that's being removed and my God it, like this was I flipped this because um, when I bought it in the store what they had done they'd taken the CD cover and they kind of flipped it upside down so they showed the side 
where he's kind of like in an electric chair, and there's the big beams uh, that make make an X in the background, which looks pretty good. Uh, but then I realized when I started flipping through the um, the CD book, that I started to notice that all the pictures were upside down and the text was upside down. Then I flipped it over and I saw this and like, oh my god, <laughs> like it, it gets an immediate reaction and. Actually, like I have a little piece of paper that I put inside the jewel case that has the track numbers on it because, for the longest while when I owned it, like I I, I can, it, it's a good cover, but it's not the one that it's not something that you like to like jumping out when you're pulling CDs away from a pile or something. It's just Virtual Eleven. Um, this is an, another, yeah, this is another. Iron Maiden clusterfuck. I'd have to be honest. Like it doesn't look bad if you look at look at if you just like a briefly look at it. I mean, it's a good cover in the sense that there's a good general theme going, and you can immediately you can instantly tell. Okay, that's X Factor. You you don't have to look at it for too long. But then the minute you start looking at the details again on this one, it starts to look. It's like the number of the beast. Like there's just way too much stuff going on. Like. If it was just Eddie and the burning city in the background, it would be pretty okay. But then you got these guys here burning alive. Okay, I guess that's not bad. But then you have this kid with the with this. I guess it's a virtual reality headset and people playing football and like what the hell? I don't know. But I don't know. I mean, Eddie looks. Eddie looks like he looks like badass. But I I, I don't know about this one. It's it looks good. When you don't really, if you just quickly look at it, but it doesn't look that good once you stop to look at all the details on it. All right, Brave New World. Um, Derek Riggs did come back. This is the the first Derek Riggs album since No Prayer for the Dying that he did uh, the cover on. But I don't know if he actually like did the London of the Future part of it, or if he just painted that Eddie into the cloud. But it's pretty. But this is another really good album. I mean, it has a. I like this because it has like a steady color, and it's another cover that you look at quickly. You look at the cover quickly, you know. It, oh, that's Brave New World. Yeah, Eddie looks pretty badass. Like, uh, I'm not a big fan of the CG rendered uh, London thing in the at the bottom, but it's a very simple cover design. I'm I'm not sure. I'm, am I the only one who sees like a little face right next to Eddie in the clouds? Oh boy, Dance of Death, Dance of Death. This was the first. Uh, when I, uh, this is the first new Maiden album that came out after I'd become um, an Iron Maiden fan, and I got this as a birthday present. And it's a good album. It's a really good album. But the cover, the first time I looked at it, I kind of went like, "What the hell is this?" And, <laughs> and it's, you know, it's well. Uh, people have pointed out, like, it, it it just looks like it's not finished. Like, you have all these CG-rendered people. You have Eddie there. Eddie looks, you know, Eddie looks fucking awesome. You know, he's the Grim Reaper, and, you know, he's painted in. You know, you look at the guy on the right, I mean, the lady on the right. You know, his neck is all contorted, and you have the baby and the dog. And, I don't know, it's 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 just, I don't know, It's it's a really, it's a really stupid cover. It's a really good album, but I don't I don't know. It's it's um I've heard that Maiden apparently saw were shown this sort of unfinished render, the work in progress version of this cover, and they apparently liked it so much that they told the artist to not finish it. And they, a matter of life and death, um, not my favorite Maiden album. Uh, it's but the cover is. This cover is really good. Like this is uh, this is almost this is harkening back to those um, the power slaves somewhere in time and seven son of a sense. This looks like an this honestly feels and looks like an another Iron Maiden concept album. And uh, the guy that did this um, is the guy that does the uh, comic book covers for um, Punisher, I think. And it's a really good one, especially like Eddie up on the tank. Because he looks like the Eddie from um, the Two Minutes to Midnight and Aces High uh, single covers, and the Final Frontier, Eddie as an alien. <laughs> like Eddie's been what? Eddie is a zombie. He's been a pharaoh, a cyborg. He's been 
pulled together to pieces. Uh, he's been up in the sky. He's the Grim Reaper. He's a soldier. Uh, he controls the devil, and now he's an alien. Like, <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> and, you know what, this, this looks pretty freaking awesome. Like, I, I love sci-fi sci stuff, so this cover looks awesome. It also, it reminds me of the music video of The Final Frontier, which, um, although that's an awesome music video and the song is also awesome, but if you listen to the album version, you realize that it's like the last three minutes of the song that they actually used on the <laughs> in the music video, so uh, I don't think the the actual full length song is as good as the part that they used for the music video. But yeah, that was that, and uh, see you on the next one.